how do you feel just, just seeing your group out and kind of getting going? I feel great. Uh, it's gone, the last three days have gone way better than expected. Uh, anytime there's a new coach coming in, the learning curve's huge. And as far as game planning and practice goes and just expectations, learning a new system. And I'm really happy with the last three days of practice. Did you get to see a lot of them during the off season? Yeah, um, we and the non-football guys, we had open gym four nights a week. Got to know them a little bit and saw them play, watch tape from last year. So had a good idea, but nothing's like the first day of practice when you really get to work with them. Can you tell me a little bit, you said you watched film from last year. I'm sure you've studied it. Um, can you uh, can I tell me things that maybe you liked and maybe some things that you were, didn't really like that you saw? Uh, yeah, from a player standpoint, obviously Carter Burns, and he brings a lot to the table. He's really improved the last four or five months that I've been around him. He really self-motivated, works hard in the gym on his own. Uh, from a player standpoint, then each year a high school kid gets older, they usually get better, whether they get stronger, quicker, more confidence, whatever it is. So. I like all the players that we have and coming back. So. You have a fairly young team, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So still, yeah. I know we only had two seniors last year, and Carter's only a uh, junior this year. Right. right. Yeah. So you, you've got something to work with, I guess, for the next couple of years also, which yes. is nice coming in as right. a new coach, not having a bunch of seniors that you're going to graduate next right. year. Right. Yeah. So um, can you talk maybe about having a young team, what that does for you? Yeah. I mean, uh, definitely it'll give us time. We can kind of take our time with putting stuff in and kind of take it slow. We only have one senior this year. So our, our core juniors, I mean, we have a lot of good juniors who are really playing well. So, yeah, looking, the future's bright, definitely, but we can't approach, hey, it's okay if we play bad this year because we always have next year, and that, that's a dangerous road to go down. So we, we're trying to live it up to this year. I think that's one of the most annoying things when people start overlooking their seniors and this move, okay, well, let's look to the next year because we've got a good group, whatever. I can't do that. All right. So um, you, have your, you play a lot of big schools, obviously. Um, from the Des Moines area, um, you play some local schools, but is there anything that you're particularly looking forward, any any group that you're looking at, any team that you're looking forward to playing? or? Uh, on, like yeah, a, I mean, I'm, I think we're excited. I, I think we're going to be a lot better than people think, and it, it's a lot of it's mental. I mean, we need to change the mindset of the whole program, not just the varsity team. And, we, you do that by working hard and, and changing the way people think, and so I'm excited to, to play them all. Can I ask you, too, I know it's lasting a little than you probably That's fine <laughs> um, I know obviously coming in to a new program also which potentially didn't have a very uh, I don't know how to say it but like a, a very deep program as far right. as you know the younger kids go you can't just expect them to know what they're doing in high school so you are obviously putting in time in here at a middle school girls game so uh, is this middle school Oh, yeah, we practice tonight. But there, I mean, you're still oh, here. You're yeah. Still, I just yeah. think, like, I, I know that you've done stuff with, like, the youth program. Right, yeah. Um, how is that working out? Good. The youth, the youth program couldn't be any better. It's all on my varsity guys. I have very little to do with it. They come in, they ref, they actually work the kids out, they coach them. So it's been really good both ends, and hopefully the, the fifth and the sixth graders will come to our games and support us, which I think they will. Okay, and then I do want to ask you again, last year, um, watching – they had, you know, some bright points that were just they couldn't really finish, and they didn't really have the depth last year that you know that a lot of the teams that were facing did. Right. Um, but also Carter Burns, obviously a huge bright spot for the team. I know they lost a guy or two that I thought was, you know, pretty would could do pretty well if they had another year under right. the belt. Also. Right. Right. But um, Carter's a big guy. But he, he handles the ball pretty well. Do you use him as like a, a forward or do you use him? Uh, he'll probably start off as a center for us. We had a kid move in, a big center move in, who has to sit out the 90 days by rule. But Carter is going to play one through five for us. Uh, his skill set's unparalleled for, for our conference, I think. I'm really high on him. and He's going to play as needed anywhere so and everywhere. So he'll kind of be all over the place. So piggybacking into that, do you expect to kind of, I mean, conditioning-wise, are you planning on run in or are you planning on you know really focusing on the half court or what are you well, hoping to do? I think we're in pretty good shape now I think we could get it a little better I'm, my staff's done a great job we've started conditioning three weeks out before we start practice by rule you can work with them without a ball so the guys have been in the gym working hard taking care of getting in shape and we want to run when we stop teams and we want to push it and then if we can't score right away we'll back it out and try to run something to get a good shot. Do you want to add anything else for me? Nope, no thanks. Thank you so much.